Two-time Melbourne Cup winning jockey John Letts is one of the most likeable characters in the game. Affectionately known as Letsy, he was inducted into the Australian Racing Hall of Fame in 2010. He rode more than 2,350 winners in a career spanning over 30 years. Letsy won his first cup in 1972 aboard Piping Lane. The win was historic. It was Letsy's first time at Flemington and he only met the horse 10 minutes before the race. My ambition being an Adelaide jockey was to win my hometown cup, the Adelaide Cup. Well, when I did that, my next ambition, I thought, I would love to ride in the Melbourne Cup, just ride. I wanted to get the feel of 100,000 people at the races. I walked out onto the track, I'd never been to Flemington. Never been to Flemington, never seen the track, never knew the owner, never knew the trainer, never seen a horse in my life, never heard of it. And I went out and I got on him. And you know, I walked down the race, which I always call the path to glory, which is the roses where you walk down the track and you go out on the track and then up to the barrier. And I walked down, down the path to glory and, and I think everybody else got a clap except me because they didn't know me. I hadn't been to Victoria, they didn't know the horse. But you go out on the track as, as an unknown and you come back, if you win the Melbourne Cup, you come back as a legend. Belldale Ball brought Letsy his second Melbourne Cup in 1980 and a first for the Hayes dynasty. Following his retirement, Letsy became a familiar face on screens across Australia. His cheeky nature seen by all when he conducted horseback interviews on television for the spring racing carnival on his trusty pony Banjo. Well, Banjo was my little mate for 20 years out on the track. He was a registered stock horse. His name was Truorick Impulse. People would say to me when I'm riding past to go out on the track, they'd say, what's the name of your horse? And I would have to look at his nameplate and say, uh, Trewarwick Impulse. And I actually got <laughs> sick of doing that. And, and Johnny Patterson, who owns, owns him, and, and, and Pato is the lead clerk of the course, and we work under him all the time. And I said to Pato one day, I said, Pato, look, this, this name, Trewarwick Impulse. I said, where did you get that? He said, that's his registered stock name. And I said, well, I can't use it. He said, I said, your name's Patterson? He's Banjo. So that's how we got the Banjo. He was known as Banjo from that day on. That was about 93. Him and I were, we were 100%. You know, you see this happen sometimes with jockeys and horses. Uh, with like with Winks, with Huey Bowman, you'll see 100%. You'll see Maccabi Diva with Glenn Boss, 100%. You see Luke Nolan with Black Caviar, 100%. Banjo and I were, we were in that group. We were 100, we never had an argument. The only argument we ever had is if I didn't bring him enough apples or that when I had to give him an apple between races. Letsy is synonymous with the Lexus Melbourne Cup Tour and has been an ambassador right from the very beginning. Taking the cup on the road and taking his stories to the people across Australia. We, we get the chance to go out and let people hold the Melbourne Cup because they'll never ever get that close to it. Some of the people that we go to, some of the outback places we go to, we went to a place called Louth, which is a population of 27. And there was a race meeting two days later. There were 7,000 there. But that's the sort of thing that happens. It, it attracts people. Uh, it's something that I'd say 90%, 85, 90% of Australians will never ever get the opportunity to get up close and comfortable with it. And they can say they've held the Melbourne Cup one of the most memorable ones I would be was through on the Indian Pacific from Perth through to Sydney and we called in at Broken Hill and Priscilla Queen of the Desert was there and of course being the Melbourne Cup the icon of Australian sport they wanted me up on the stage with it so I was dressed in pink and I was dancing with the drag queens I think gee I would never have done that if I hadn't been on a Melbourne Cup tour 